Hi guys, I'm sure that many of you will have been told by your senseis at a grading to give it your all at every single stage of, of the grading, to, to hold nothing back, to, to save nothing for the way back. Now, save nothing for the way back is uh, a line from the movie Gattaca uh, in which two brothers have uh, swimming competitions and they swim out to sea and whoever can swim swim the furthest out and then back is the winner and um, I believe the younger brother is the one who wins every single time and the reason he wins is because as he admits to his other brother he saves nothing for the way back he just keeps on going until he beats his brother and you can very easily see that that is kind of like a foolhardy um, premise in a way because although it's meant to sound noble in the context of the movie and 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 it's kind of it showing that you have more energy than you think you do um, you know maybe one day his his brother will get more energy and, and they'll both end up drowning because because they've got nothing for the way back um, and likewise I think that a grading the higher you get the more tactical your grading should be and it's a really excellent analogy for life as well so uh, when they say save nothing for the way back and train at every stage of the grading with complete commitment complete energy complete dedication um, I, I can see the nobility in that uh, but the thing is that what you're doing is sacrificing tactics for this idea of of, of effort and and if there's one thing that we should all know by by um, fairly early on in our journey that that effort gives you something to do but it doesn't get you anywhere necessarily um, I, I think that I think that's actually a paraphrasing of um of uh, a, a, a kind of a joke a rocking chair gives you something to do but it doesn't get you anywhere and um, likewise in a grading if, if you give it your all and then you're burned out before you're halfway through the grading and you can't stand. I've seen I've seen people who are so exhausted in a grading that they collapse. I've seen people who vomited in a grading and then they couldn't continue the grading. And so, you know, tactically that was really foolish. And uh, likewise, you know, imagine in, in a situation in life where you're in a self-defense situation and... Um, Perhaps it's a, a life and death situation, so your first instinct perhaps has been to run so that the conflict doesn't have to happen. Uh, you know, perhaps you're out, outnumbered or, or the other person has a weapon or something and, and the tactically sound thing to do is to run. Now, if the other person's running after you, it makes sense to run as hard as you can, but it doesn't make sense if they continue to chase you to continue to run indefinitely. Because you don't know whether or not they have more energy than you and it could come a point when you have stopped the ex exhaustion and then they catch you up and now you have nothing left, to, uh, nothing left to defend yourself. So one thing that I have discovered in, in gradings and in, um, and in Kumite that you have to manage your energy resources. You don't just burn them out. You know, uh, we're all familiar with, if we've seen the UFC, I'm sure you've heard a million times, oh, he went out strong, but he gassed himself out. And, you know, these are professional fighters fighting in million dollar fights, and they still don't understand that basic premise that saving nothing for the way back is a really foolish way to fight, that, that sometimes you have to disengage. And, uh, you know, I, I guess um, the expression... Um, lost the battle but won the war, or won the battle and lost the war, um, applies here. You know, it's, it's no good being magnificent just for a tiny part of your grading and then being unable to perform for the rest of your grading. So, so um, I, I have always felt that the uh, tactics for your grading are how to manage your resources best. Uh, you know, personally, I try to manage my energy resources for days going into a grading or even weeks going into a grading. Um, and then I'm certainly not going to just throw everything away in, in one brilliant short five minute um, burst. I'm, I'm going to try and perform at uh, a, a reasonably good level throughout the entire three, four hour grading, you know, and, and that's what I would advise to you guys to do as well. Don't, you know, don't be reckless and, and destroy yourself in five minutes if, if that doesn't get the job done. You take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you did, please take the time to rate and comment, and it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Thank you.